and welcome back. Let's play in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Tro <coughs> Master Mode. Episode 12. Huh. I haven't seen your face before. You know about the stable system? Yes, I do. Oh, pardon me. Let me start over. Hi. Welcome to our stable. If you come with a wild horse, you can register with us. When you want to save our rest, please head to the counter inside. So what it'll be. Here's our horse. Gotcha. You share this one? Yes. No problem. She's a registration fee to help support our conservation efforts. The fee also gets you a locally made saddle and bridle for your horse. The fee is 20 rupees, is that okay? Yes. Whoa. Thanks. Well, right, please enter a name for your horse. Yeah. Wait a minute. Isn't this opponent the horse of legend? Oh. What are you thinking? You can't. You're the one who suggested it. You're not even a horse of legend. Pretty sure there's a law against that. So, opponent it is. Okay. Registration complete. Would you like to take your new horse with you? Take horse. Oh. Thank you. See you next time. Mm. Oh, and by the way. Yeah, it's a referee horse, you can whistle and it will come running. Now it's some magic in here if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. Right. Next stop is remembering how far her tono is from here. Good evening. Don't see a whole lot of travelers passing through here. You know, with how peaceful it is around here, it's almost easy to forget the world almost ended years ago. Mm. There's some monsters running around in the area near here. Iron castles, especially dangerous. You know, when you're traveling, you should know a thing about about elixirs. Elixirs. Ah. You make elixirs by mixing bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. They're no good for refilling your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. They can increase your speed, others raise your resistance to extreme temperatures. Oh. Actually, impressed you made it this far without any knowledge of elixirs. Yeah, but I might conjure to something empty to you from here, so I'll give you one of mine. Thanks. I actually know about them. Yeah, I actually made the same thing. Yeah, you see, it looks increase your run speed, so I use it to escape from enemies running time in any hurry. These are a high tail lizard and monster parts, so I usually have a stock of ten or so on hand. <laughs> what? Is this from... Why, Princess, or...? There we go. You know, I probably could have blasted my way through. Yes, try throwing your, like, um, very precious weaponry at them. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Hard Damon. The name of the gods highly offer this trial. Better safe than sorry. We'll just fall on it, slip on the chest, um, and break her neck. And so ends the legend of Hyrule. Double rupee. More enough to cover the feet. However, yeah, one might have been dead. So, oh no, it's this thing. Oh, no, this is way sim. I'm thinking of another one. I 
Actually, I probably won't need this one then. Are you kidding me? Also, the area effect of this thing is kind of ridiculous. That should do it. power these things anyways your resource from someone coming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero and name is goddess highly I bestow upon you the spirit orb May the goddess smile upon you. Oh, and they cleared for me. Thank you. What? A rumor has it there's an item called the Korok Mess that has the power to aid alert the wearer when the Korok said anybody. It wasn't stable as a copy of Super Rumor Mill EX, which details some rumors about this rare mask. It has it. A tool that allows you to instantly travel to wherever you have placed it. And you see itself a color stable as a copy of Super Rumor Mill EX, which details some rumors about this rare item. Um. My, the royal family of Hyrule collected historically significant outfits. They were stolen by a bandit named Miscope. One of the items stolen was an ancient mask. The journey, adrenaline, places the location of this treasure somewhere in the outpost ruins. It was a royal family that I collect. Yeah. Fair is green garments. I'm stolen with a helmet of twilight. Um, or if, among them, uh, phantasmal armor. I wish you seen by Chronicles 2. This is the sky from the middle of the largest bridge. The eastern sky from the skull's left eye. And the southeastern sky from the peak of the tall, pierced, snowy mountain. I don't remember where those were, even though I've done them before. Directions. Hey! I'm doing big stable. What do you think of the place? Pretty nice, yeah? It might be hard to imagine now, but this place was nearly destroyed by a hundred years ago. Thanks to the blessing of the dueling peaks, everyone and everything is full of life again. Well, the horses are back. There's a lot of energy in this place. Yeah, you can both carry a village and head to a village anyway. To a village? Oh. The village, the village on the edge of Hyrule. It was largely infected by the events of Great Calamity. You know, they're pretty easy going. Oh. They even have a research center, but folks tend to avoid the weird sinus who lives there. Head north from here until you reach a fork in the road, then go east and just follow the road. A little far if you walk it. Oh, I see. You should be there in another day. To Renz, I to tell you about the roads about this area. Am I? Mm. This is always has, but the effects of the Great Calamity still linger. A lot of monsters come out at night, so be careful when the sun sets. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought there. You know, rigorous research day and night, figure out the mystery of the Blood Moon. Blood Moon? You don't know it? That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you all about it. Uh, for only years now, every so often when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and a full moon rises. And more monsters that have been previously defeated will come back to life. Oh. And that's what is known as the Blood Moon. Uh, why do Blood Moon monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? Really, the answers to those questions a mysterious phenomenon. Oh. Anything more about the Blood Moon's trouble? Be sure to come back and tell me. What? Um, <sighs> traveling merchant's hood, garb of the winds, 
Uh, how many? Usurper. Dark Entity. Anything more? Oh, hey, kid. Hey, I'm gonna see if I can get to the horse before Shibo does. There's a way. Hmm. Let's go on Misko's treasure, and it's great. Listen up, Dak. Prison? Hang on. Oh, sorry. Hey, what was your problem? You aren't being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation, are you? We're treasuring another trail of the Great Slur. The treasure of the Great Bandit Misko. It's as good as ours. Prison, you're gonna give it all away. I'm sorry, Doc. I got carried away. You're a busier dude. You need something to take it up with someone else. Oh, the morning light. Have you been to Kakarika Village? They've got great food and great clothes, but it ain't cheap. I'm selling a few things to pick up my travel. It uh, doesn't cost a look. Take a look. Ooh. I'm finding something. Green's guaranteed to give you a boost of vigor when you're out on the road. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. Uh. Oh. Frame rates. This is a person who cares not a bit about frame rates. Has it been... I don't know, I feel like it's worse. Aww. Maybe it's just beyond that bridge up ahead. They raise their own vegetables there, so they don't buy much of anything from me. Maybe you bought something, but I mean, I'm just happy to show you what I've got to sell. Rest up to you. Uh. I'm looking around. You know, you never did anyone any good. You know what? I'm interested in seeing what I can make. Ah. Um, are you ready? Oh. Yeah, we might get into there, maybe not. Can't waste your time stressing out on gnomes. Well, that's not horrible. I made an omelette. Oh yeah, I guess. They're just coming over to Hyrule, simply fry egg until it's nice and plump. Wait, shouldn't that include like the butter or whatever? Should take me to Aitano. I hope you know where you're going, though. Nope, she does not. Pfft, nice miss. Um, I made a mistake here. If I go over there, she might I might be able to call her. Well, she might be stuck. What the? Is that a blue pool? Yeah. Well, that's a great start. Taken factor, like if I go this far away, I 
Oh, you know what I needed? I need wheat with the milk and stuff. Oh, wait, didn't I have wheat? Uh, no, I had butter. Yeah. You sure you're okay by yourself? Yeah, what is it? You're wild, so till you calm them, it's gonna be one crazy ride, but there's no feeling quite like taming a wild stallion. Yeah, I took second place in the Iron Wars taming competition. Yeah, I said the look you gave me. Fine. Well, I mean, let's go, pal. You and me right here, right now. Challenge to second place, I roll. Oh, uh, it's taming competition winner to tame off. You got it, mister. Sorry, I have to go. What? What? You would dare turn down a challenge from me, the second greatest swimmer in the world, Renza? Well, uh, I guess there's not much I can do about that. I the title of our World Wars taming competition runner-up would strike fear in your heart. Renza would never run her I come back when you have the confidence to challenge my taming skills. Look, I just wanted you to think, yeah. Okay, Renza, go run all the way around there. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm an idiot. I know where I need to go. That's right, I have to cut through like the forest of guardians. For some reason I thought it was talking about like the Okay, that's new. Let's just hope there isn't a blockade put up. I mean, that did almost work. Look, I know I'm just ignoring like half the things, but I need to get that soldier armor as soon as I can. After that, I kind of want to get the cold resistant armor. Wait, did he do a full dive? Nope, we're going the right way. Someone yelling for help? Yes, they are. Okay. 
se me va muy... Ok, we're so good. I mean, if I can keep the pressure on them, there's not really any difference. Glorious. Okay, I dodged the wrong way. That was close. You got the mushroom girls? Way to send those things packing. You could use this, right? Ah. Yes, yes I could. Tough poultry curry. Grant's uh, low-level defense boost. The savory meal pairs well with the aroma of spice in this common curry. Stop footing, floofing around here. Let's get back to the hunt for the hearty truffles. Uh -huh. Show me all over to find hearty truffles. I know, I know. It's dangerous for two folks to travel on their own these days. You don't have to tell me twice. One of those truffles trays. Uh, all the waters and warnings melt away. Mining our own business, hunting for troubles, and then wham! Mouse out of nowhere. Even my sister, really. She's the one who refuses to go home until we find some already troubles. Pull back on the reins. What? It's your deal. Who are you? Be on your way, you suspicious man. I'm a traveler. Ha. Yeah? You know, you appear to be highly unlike the rest of it. Why does that matter? You're generally good folks, so sorry for getting all worked up. You ready to go? We're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Well, I have a traveler. Well, you can get most of the things you need at the general store, and then it's just back there. What was a Zora? Could you imagine if this entire, like, you know, if, um, forever, you know, it was just a Zora? Zor Link. Not interested. Hey. Okay. I don't even see you. Welcome, welcome. Everyday clothes, armor for soldiers, we have it all at Ventus Clothing. You need Hi. something? You like this corner? Oh! I might nestle too far in the corner, is it hard to see me? That's a little weird, but I just feel more confident over here. Anything else? Need to sell. Oh, just a second. Okay. Let's see here. Thank you for waiting. Yes? What would you like to sell? Go ahead and sell whatever you desire. One twenty. So that's affordable. Warm doublet is kind of necessary. Two hundred, two fifty, one eighty. That comes to a total of four fifty five, six thirty. Yeah. 
Take them all, I really couldn't care less. I'll just kill more guardians, so... Okay, it's Higgyumi from Sturdy Metals for Frontline Soldiers. Praise for the defense of the Kibitos. The only elms that remain are those that survived the calamity. Thank you for winning. It'll be 108 rupees. Thank you for business. Uh, Iridian Guards praise this armor for its superior defense. Made from sturdy plates of metal. High level craftsmanship that went into this obvious with just a glance. Okay, let's see here. Thank you for waiting. It'll be 250 rupees. Thanks for business. Uh, I really got to these grease. They owe their distinctly added defense to the metal plates made from, but the added weight takes some getting used to. Hey, 200 rupees. Mm. And can I afford the warm doublet? Uh, that I can. Warm pull vertibility worn by Mountainfall. City fabric and thick gloves are great at retaining body. Very much. I need to sell to you again. Because I'm thinking of dyeing the armor purple. Hi. Because I actually kind of didn't even know that there was a dye shop here. All right, there we go. Soldier Link is back on duty. Die or your general. Tell me we have. Uh, you know, I don't even know why I asked that because I know for a fact by the time I'm like. You know, it's getting a bit late into the episode. I already know I'm like 10 minutes over. Anyways, so that's going to be for this episode, though. So if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See